Hello all, I am very excited. I've been waiting for, for this product for a long time, but they never did sell it. And you may ask yourself, what is so special? Uh, about 11, 12 years ago, uh, Steam was gonna make their own uh, Steam box called the Piston. It was very small modular boxes, uh, help made by XI3 company, when make modular computers. And I got my hands on one, actually on eBay. It's, I think this was going to be the closest thing to the uh, retail version where they going to sh was going to ship out if they did not cancel the product. Uh, got the comes with a char came with a charger and a Windows 7 Pro license key on it. And actually, like a, like a, a gun metal gray, this is all uh, aluminum. very nice look at that from 2011 uh 2013 around there i don't know which one like i said it is because they have multiple different variations of the product uh <clears throat> they went through testing and they, uh, they, there's youtube videos about it at the uh, conference and the shows uh the the modularity of the machine uh, and what it can do some of them have DDR2. Uh, uh, some of them have DDR2 memory in them. Uh, I think those was prototypes, and because some of them don't even have these USB 3.0 ports over here, or this uh, high-end digital uh, audio channel out. You come with this cool little stand too. Not a lot of people can get those. Look at, look at I, I feel I feel dirty by just touching it because it's, it's all it's all not plastic it's all heavy metal. I'm trying to get the assembled in the USA. You figure right? <laughs> Yeah, 2010-2013 U.S. Patents, the XI3 Corporation. This is 7,075 or 7 million or something, I don't know what those different numbers represent. Another patent pending. So they might be based off different um, revisions, uh, how many they made. But I think this thing is pretty cool. Based off the APU uh, Trinity Edition CPU. Um, I used to have uh, that APU in a, on a desktop computer. This is the laptop variant mobile one. And I've seen all, uh, one person on the, uh, YouTube. I forget his name, but uh, he upgraded it to a uh, 5750M, uh, which is a, a Richland-based CPU, which matches the same specs as the Trinity and there was no BIOS update. That's another thing, that these, these things don't have no, I don't think, BIOS update. There's one customized one floating out in the internet. So he put the, the Richland CPU in it and it actually booted it up with no problem. But uh, he supposed to be making a new video about the thermals and everything, but I have not seen it come out yet. Uh, hopefully he still makes that. It'd be interesting to watch. But get my hands on one of these things, pretty cool. I got a good price for this thing too. It was on eBay and I mean, um, usually you get scratches or broken items or, and so far this is really in great condition. They put it under it as, um, oh, not collectibles, but uh, we call it old computers now. Um, Vintage, yeah, they put it under vintage, but it's not really a vintage item to me. But it's like a one of the kind kind of thing because they never did sell these retail, like I said, uh, wise. So stay tuned if you want to see more. I want to see if this works probably before I tear it down sometime. If I need new thermal paste and a little cleaning, I uh, let's have a M SATA disk port for 120 meg, uh, gigabytes. So I want to try that. This thing was like it's supposed to be meant for Steam gaming, 
they with their own operating of steam they had back then. Yeah, see those original brick came with it. With the logo. Alright, I'll see y'all later.